the internet. Okay, thank you. One of the things that happens quite a bit on the internet is uh, people pick up a console at Goodwill, whatever, and at garage sale, and then they get on the internet and they say, hey, I got this console, now I need to know, you know what, what's available as far as expansion options, uh, what, what, what is an extended basic cartridge, and, and on down the line. One, one of the problems they run into is most of us, it's been in the TI for a while, it's been 10 or 15 years, and we've already answered all those questions at least 100 times. So a lot of times they leave up on Thompson's TI or the internet and very simple questions and not getting responses back. Those people just simply don't want to take the time to re-answer questions that's been answered hundreds of times before. So in order to uh, help folks like that, I've gotten people on the TI list server together to write this compendium of information called a fact. Basically all the questions that, that people that are new usually ask or that are frequently asked on, on like TI list server Compass TI have uh, created a compendium of questions and answers. So far we're up to about 50 uh, single-sided pages and I think this, this, this represents a real good beginning for answering those kind of questions. If somebody says, hey, I just bought a TI, and they have 101 questions, you say, the first thing to do is download the TI facts, take a look at it, and then we'll start answering questions. So I want to pass this around for you guys to, to look through. If anybody sees anything there that isn't covered and they'd like, like to see it covered or would like to take a section and uh, put in there, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, next up on the list is the uh, control data Plato connection. This kind of has come together for me in the last six months. I originally saw an ad in Micropendium from Competition Computers. They had a console there that I'd never seen before that was the uh, control data console. Uh, not having ever seen a control data console, having been doing this for 10 years, I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to add one of those to my collection. So I sent off to uh, sent off $100 to Kyle at Competition Computer, and I got back this console. It's like a regular console, except it's got a control data logo instead of the normal Texas Instruments. The other interesting thing is when you uh, Texas Instruments comes up control data. Now what had originally been planned for this was Texas Instruments bought out control data, and uh, they repackaged TI, the peripheral expansion box, to sell the plates of courseware, which is this. That they've got stuff from elementary education on up through college level. And uh, basically they repackaged the P-Box, console, and uh, were selling this to schools. Well, the, the problem that, that they ran into was they were trying to sell the uh, control data console for 500 bucks and the peripheral expansion box for 1000 and uh, they tried to do that right as TI. By the time they finally got all geared up, TI was getting out of business. And school teachers said, hey, I'm not paying $500 for a console when I go to Kmart and get it for $45. So that's why you don't see many uh, control data peripherals around. They just never really took off. Um, as part of the repackaging, they created this booklet. Instead of your normal TI setup guide, you get this booklet, which is basically controlled data as a setup guide. I'll pass that around, it's kind of unique. The other thing is the, the packaging that they went through for this was pretty impressive. Like I said, you had a, had a console that was labeled controlled data, you had a controlled data Plato cartridge, and then the, the software came in these nice binders with a little instructional booklet and uh, disk. As far as I know, all the controlled data Play of course, where it is diskette based. When you press the space bar, the Plato cartridge will, if you have it in the slot, take over the. Otherwise, if you don't have it, you, know, you get TI Basic. So apparently, they just want to make only one custom drum. Plato of course, where it's pretty simple to uh, utilize, as it had to be for elementary school educational purposes. All you basically do is stick a diskette in the drive one, power up, and it will go into the uh, place, place the diskette in, press enter, and it should load up a courseware.
given the right control of the car, it'll load up. These, uh, this work from a system at home. Those guys worked this morning. Hmm. Well, what kind of controller card do you have in them? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I know these guys are protected, but... No, I hope so. No. Dress that up. out of Mike Wright's encyclopedia that he sells, Mike's site. This guy details all of the uh, packages that were produced for the control data of Plato Courseware. In the back, there's a uh, article that he has on taking the Plato Courseware and moving it to a double-sided, double-density diskette. Because it comes on single-sided, single-density diskette, and it is somewhat copy-protected. So if anybody wants to take a look at this, I'll pass it around. Mike still sells the site if anybody's interested. Um, this is the control data, Plato stuff.
We can solve that dude. right now. Here, let's power this guy down. versus a real TI. What it does is it basically creates an array in memory and then it does screen I.O. So uh, it tests a couple of different things. And down, down below it you see my test results running on a Geneve and basic, a basic, uh, on the Tomy, on a 994A with or without memory expansion and results. Now it works. Why would it need a console? I don't know. Why would a console keep DSK1 from working? Huh. I mean, it's not loading that DM1000 that, that you couldn't catalog before. And it cataloged it on two. That was weird. That's very strange. One thing I did find out, I, uh, I wanted to try Charlie's unreleased Superstorm cartridge by Atari. The control data consoles are definitely V2 compatible. It would not even recognize its cartridges in the cartridge port. Oh, most interesting. Well, anyway, okay, uh, let's go ahead and load, see if one of these guys will load now.
then it gives you clues by changing your the color. The universe is all the matter and energy known to exist. And that's your clue that you're probably going to be quizzed on that later. These have quizzes that will go through it. After you go through one tutorial, then it will quiz you and give you the results of the quiz, whether you need to go back through or how many you've got right and wrong. So anyway, for educational purposes, I still think it's a, a really good uh, setup. Uh, I'd be very surprised if Mike Wright doesn't have that already done with the PC-99, all the, the modules and all the curriculum. So if you can't find them, that might be a route to go is by PC-99 and run it on your PC. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the final thing, which is the Tony Tudor up fire. One of these up right here, look at one of those. Uh, Tony Tudor has two outputs, RCA composite video and uh, RCA for sound. I use it on my, uh, I have an 8CM515 that I use on my Geneve. I picked up a spare one of those for 15 or $50 and it works great on the Tony. got the I.O. port here that, to the best of my knowledge, was uh, never used for anything. Charlie, is there a place I can plug in here for the uh, sound? Charles? Yeah. Is there a place I can plug in here for the sound? I mean, I don't really need it, but we can get it if you want. Let's see. Um, this is their sound. That's okay. We need a, um, you can, you can try, uh, here. like normal TI basic. You go into graphics mode, that's kind of unique. Yeah, basically a uh, very, very simplistic picture editor. You can draw pictures on it. Now what's, what's unique is built into this, you can say after you design a picture you like, you can save it out to the cassette. Now that, that, that's pretty cool, but they went one step further. They have what they call graphics basic built into it. So you can take your picture and by referencing a row, cell, and a column, you can actually make moving pictures. So rather than doing it with, with sprites, and you, you do it by referencing the, the cells of, of your picture. You can move cells around uh, and create moving pictures. It's really kind of neat. So. Anyway, what, what's known to exist for the Tony is the Tony itself several games. Uh, I happened to find at a garage sale an original Tomy Tudor tape recorder, the joystick port, 
on the recorded report from that evening, will they? Uh, I've not tested them, but I think they will. One of the things you got to be aware of is their uh, their engineering on, on this product was a little bit uh, weak, especially considering it was a home product. It says in the manual what you have to do when you save it, you have to plug in the red into in on the cassette tape. When you want to bring back the cassette program, you have to make sure you unplug red or it won't work. And you got to plug the white into the out. Now the other caveat in the manual is says. Please make sure that your cassette ports are not resting on anything metal. So they didn't do any I.O. buffering at all. It's, uh, I would be surprised that if they, if they're just built for a home market, if they didn't have a very high return rate on burnout 9901s. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go to the next one. Let's see if we can get one of the games in. This is the manual that came with the Tony, very, uh, very much built for a home children environment. These also tend to be, you can find Tomies in garage sales occasionally, but finding the documentation for it isn't always the easiest. The cartridges are very, very similar. Uh, looks like you got the same number of contacts on, on the sides, about the same size. As a TI. And you get a third selection, which is cartridge. down here and kind of tell the tape what everything is okay. for um, the benefit of the tape and I, I'll stop the tape. Is there be anything over here on the full data stuff? Okay, so all you, you know, the tape is still running so you can just you know put your stuff down there and point to the important features and, and talk and the tape will pick up your voice. back and forth and this this focuses this would be the uh, the joystick for the Tomy the Tomy cassette recorder and a model 100 Tandy model 100 cable that works with the Tomy or you can build your own Ah. 
This is a close up of Tony. Oh, he's, 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 he's <laughs> quiet all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite was Jungle Terror. I could put Jungle Terror on. This one isn't as uh, yellow as mine, but uh, oh, that's the port. It did a smart thing, and when you plug this in, it plugs directly into the board. You don't have a, a third 90-degree angle piece. So mm, that makes sense. Just right in the top. This way it looks right side up for the viewers. It's got those chiclet keys. <laughs> yep, chiclet keys. It was made for the home market. Yeah. Put it on. Put them on. I'm getting older. This is the uh, control data TI console. It has the uh, control data logo. As far as I know, uh, they were all in the beige series. I don't know if there was any black and silver control data consoles made. I don't know. This is your special Plato setup manual that came with it. Basically a TI manual that's been repackaged. This is the Plato box. It's kind of like a VCR case. You open these guys up. You have your diskettes and a little manual that explains stick uh, the disk in drive one and press the inner key. Where's the, the, the manual at the bottom? And this is the beginning of uh, Mike Wright's psych uh, section on Plato courseware. Probably the best reference guide for Plato material. We done? Thank you, sir. I'm one of the Tommy two. There's its edge. So what happens the that. There's the other edge. They fit. There's the bottom. There's the exact same physical length across. So it's about the size of TI cartridges. We also have a manual for the game. Oh, all right, put that down here too, just to show the public what these things look like. Come with this cool documentation. Not nearly as cool as TI docs. This is kind of cheesy, actually. How to do the joystick. KVR? 